Good morning, Force. I'm Gabrielle Jones. And I'm Tori Shenavar. Today's date is Monday, November 7th, and on today's show, we'll be taking a look at all of our upcoming news and sports. few things our principal would like to say to us this morning. So let's start over to Mr. Rembert. Good morning, Forest High School. Welcome back on this Monday morning. A um, few things. want to say congratulations to our student athletes that went to the state swim meet. Um, we had Ben Camp break a school record, was able to make the finals in his event. Then we had Ashley Sampson, who is a state champion. She, um, 500 meter freestyle, I believe is her event, and she won in the state competition, number one overall in the state as a junior. So that is incredible. So congratulations to both of them, and congratulations actually on bringing home a state championship to Forest High School. Um, we're moving from our fall to our winter sports, so good luck to our girls weightlifting, boys and girls soccer, boys and girls basketball, our competitive cheer team. So we have a lot of different things going on. Hope I didn't miss anybody. Also want to say good luck to our girls, uh, Haley Davis and Megan Griggs, who are going to compete in the state golf championship on Tuesday and Wednesday, hopefully. So good luck to them as they represent for us and hopefully can bring home some accolades um, back to Ocala. Um, at this point in the year, we're getting creeping closer and closer to the end of the semester. Um, we're hitting about the middle of November once this week is over. So please make sure that you know where you're at with your grades and what you need to do testing wise so that you're able to graduate when it comes that time for you. Um, so please make sure you get with your guidance counselors um, and check your Skyward. And again, stay on top of your things so that you're being a responsible student and doing your part for your own student success. Uh, at the end of the week on Friday, it is Veterans Day, so if we have veterans um, on campus, um, thank you for your service. I want to thank our ROTC and um, our ROTC instructors for what they do each and every day for Forest High School and represent us so well. So we look forward um, to going over with the chorus and ROTC band over to the Veterans Day Memorial on Friday, um, a great event that Forest High School will be well represented at. So have a great week out there. If you know some veterans out there, make sure you thank them this week and every other day. Go Wildcats. Library Club members, your first social is today after school in the library. Be sure to give Ms. Polars your permission form. You still have time to get a ticket for any Library Club members who want to see Black Panther this Saturday. See Mrs. Polars if you would like to go. Students interested in being on the library volunteer team try to attend the informational meetings head, held during CAT Wednesday through Friday. Please stop by and get a pass from Ms. Polars in the library. If not, she will get a pass to you. Those that cannot come during one of the three CAT periods, please see Ms. Polars. Freshmen, the class shirts are in. You may pick up your class shirt today during CAT, fourth period, and after school. If you do not get a shirt today, you will need to get it on Monday. Costumes for a cause results are in. Let's check out our winners. Best overall, Hannah Purikin, Pirate Captain. Best cosplay, Madison Mullick, Velma from Scooby-Doo. Best original, Johanna Wells Allstate, Mayhem Guy. Best makeup, Maya D'Amico, Butterfly. Best book character, Kaden Botticello, Naruto Manga Series. Best pair. Gray Newman and Philip Pattender, Black Phone Movie, Funniest Tie, Louis Semaday, Tinky Winky Teletubbies, and Harley Heartless Grilled Hot Dog, Cutest, Asia King, Ladybug, Best TV Character, Anya Boiler, Eleven from Stranger Things, Best Pose, Austin Cox, Mad Scientist, Best Anime, Ramsley's Massini, Black Butler, Best Onesie, Travis Brown, Cow. Best Occupation, 
Courtney Ansel, Vet or Vet Tech. Scariest, Jack Irvine, Pennywise. Creepiest, Natalie Rook, Cemetery Bride. Most creative, Zahara Human, 50s Rebel. Least recognizable, Rodrigo Algarit as a Turizinosaurus from Jurassic World. That is it. Now let's throw it over to Michaela with our sports. What's up, Wildcats? I'm Michaela here with all of your upcoming news and results. Last Friday, our football team had their last home game against Vanguard, and it was senior night. Let's find out more with Gabby and Tori. On Friday, our boys football team played our biggest competitor, Vanguard High School, unfortunately losing 14 to 29. Although the score isn't exactly what we wanted, the team didn't go down without a fight. Man, this game makes me a little mad. We came out strong in the first half, and then we just laid down in the second half. If I didn't throw an interception, I feel like we would have won. We would have been in a better predicament to win the game, but when I threw that interception, they capitalized off that, and that's just where the momentum went down. The football program has improved a lot since the previous years, giving the future team potential to excel the next season. This, uh, this program has a lot to it. There's a uh, rebuilding, they're all young, young, young kids. They can all come out here, stay in the weight room in the summer, the spring, and just keep putting in that work and come out here and be better in the next year. Although this is their last game, their friendship will continue to go on as they've created strong bonds with each other. I love them boys, and the boys fought just like I did. There's nothing else we can do. With this being the last game of the season, the team would like to thank everyone for all the support they've gathered throughout the season. They can't wait to play next year. This has been Gabrielle Jones reporting for WCAT. Friday night lights look a little different for every student here at Forest High School. Whether you're a defensive end of the football team, captain of the cheer team, color guard captain, or a part of the dance team, Friday nights are very special, especially for the last game of your senior year. For senior Preston Winfrey, this is a sentimental game. Uh, I've been playing football since I was seven years old. As he will miss the game, he hopes future players will give it their all. The sport's really about just having fun. It ain't really nothing. There's a bunch of stuff you can learn, but it's more about just enjoying the game and the game that not everybody else has to play. Take advantage of what you do have, and when you, when you are playing it, just love it and enjoy it while you can, because it don't last forever. Win or lose, cheerleaders support our football players, but this team is something Ava Pizzuti will miss the most. I think I can take away the fact that I have a good team and a good support system of girls um, from all different grades behind me, backing me and supporting me through my journey. Ava wishes the best for the future of her team. I would say my hope for the program in the future is that we can get really good at stunting, especially for our competitive team. I would really hope that they eventually get to a point where they're winning states every year at that level. As Delaney is excited for new chapters, closing this one isn't easy. It's really bittersweet. It's exciting to move on to, you know, college and new things, but it's definitely really sad leaving, like, especially being here for four years and just, um, I mean, especially all the memories. Bailey Peterson, captain of the Color Guard, feels similarly. It's melancholy because it's, it's the end of something, but it's the start of something else. So, Lizzie Lazerna, senior drum major, learned through her years to focus on herself. Just try not to take anything personally. You know, um, I mean, there's a lot that goes on, and, you know, I've just learned that, you know, everyone has their own lives going on, and it's really important to treat everyone with respect and, you know, just. To focus on yourself, you know, not self-compare, and just have fun. Jaya Cunningham, co-captain of the dance team, gives her best advice for future members. Um, the future of the dance team, I hope they grow more than we are growing. And wise words is always stay focused, always. No matter how hard it gets, always stay focused on dance. All of these amazing seniors will be missed, and we wish them the best in their future endeavors. But no matter the time, once a Wildcat, always a Wildcat. Reporting for WCAT, this has been Tori Shenavar. Congrats to our swimmers that competed at the state swim meet on Friday. Ben Camp broke a school record in the 100 fly with a time of 51.35 seconds, and Ashley Sampson came in first place in the 500 freestyle with a time of 4 minutes and 59.3 seconds. 
Anyone interested in off-season and conditioning or joining the swimming team next year should email Coach Yandel or stop by room A267 to get more details on the team and season. Lady Wildcats Golf shot their best team score of the year and placed fifth out of 12 teams in the FHSAA Regional Championship last week. Haley Davis shooting 68 and Megan Grid shooting 71 both scored under par, qualifying as individuals for the Gulf State Championship this week at Mission Inn. This will be the second time both girls have qualified to represent Forest High School at the state championships. Winter Guard tryouts are 3.30 to 6 to 6.30 in the band room Thursday and Friday. The girls weightlifting team had their first match of the season last week and continued their undefeated streak from last year beating Lake Weir 83 to 31. If you are a sophomore, junior, or senior with a 4.0 unweighted GPA, you can come to the athletic, athletic office B162 to receive a promo code for a free GoFan All Sports Pass for the 2022-23 home FHS athletic season. Fall sports are wrapping up, so make sure to stay tuned for our winter sports. That's all the news I have for you today. Once again, I'm Michaela, and I'm back to our anchors. Thanks, Michaela. It's great to see our athletes doing so well this season. Let's throw it over to Maddie with our current events for today. What's up, Forrest? I'm Madison here with your current event. The United States' largest reservoir, Lake Mead, a Colorado River reservoir just east of Las Vegas on the Nevada-Arizona border, is around 143 below full, a deficit roughly the height of the Statue of Liberty. The states will have to make some painful water cuts with over 25 million people relying on that water source. This is leading to an extreme climate change-fueled drought. On November 4th, a tornado took place in Oklahoma and Texas, causing one death and many injuries to the dozens of residents. South Korean President Yoon Suk-yeol apologized on Monday for the deadly Halloween crush in Seoul, pledging to hold to account any officials found to be responsible for sloppy responses and to reform police and safety management systems. Aaron Carter, the singer-rapper who began performing as a child and had Hit album starting in his teen years was found dead on Saturday at his home in Southern California at age 34. Former President Donald Trump is eyeing November 14th for a kickoff to his White House comeback campaign. The newest addition to the Ocala Police Department in Florida is a two feet tall, is just two feet tall, has four legs, and is absolutely adorable. Magic, the miniature horse, is officially an honorary police officer in the department, according to a Facebook post from the Ocala Police. That's all the current events I have for you today. Now back to the anchors. Well, students, that's all the news we have for you today. To stay updated on all things Forest, make sure to follow us at FHS underscore WCAT on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, as well as our YouTube channel. Once again, I'm Tori. And I'm Gabrielle. Have a great day, Forest, and like always, Go, go Cats! Cats.